sister Rashi here and I'm here with a late November book haul. Please excuse my appearance. November, sorry, our October book haul. Excuse my appearance. Um, I'm cleaning my house. We have an inspection coming tomorrow, so I'm just cleaning my house and filming on the iPad. Um, I know it's a late book haul because um, we're like in, I think, what is it today? The fifth day of November. But I had a lot of books that I hauled in October. I got a lot of subscription services. And the books were just piling up, and I'm like, you know what? I need to finally do a book haul, so I, because I need to put them away. You guys like my nails? I think they're very cute. I did them. Um, so these books come from Barnes and Noble, Target, and eBay. I think that's it. And Amazon, a couple from Amazon. Um, and I read a couple this month. I was starting really, really strong at reading, and then all of a sudden I just got into reading slump. So hopefully I can get out of it. Um, gaming has taken up a lot of my time, which is. Ugh, you need to kind of get back on track with reading because I, I, I miss reading. Um, so, oh, and I'm wearing my cute little unicorn shirt, keeping it real. Um, because again, I'm just cleaning the house. So, Target, let's go Target because there's only two books at Target. I got, I think this came from Target, Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. Uh, this is the Vikings. It's pitched as Vikings, um, and I think Wonder Woman. I think this pitch does. Um, I'm literally almost done. I'm 147 pages, almost halfway done, and I put this down for some reason. I forget the reason why I put it down, but I put it down. I was reading this because we were getting um, an item in the Beacon Book Box for last month that had something to do with the Vikings of Sky in the Deep, and I kind of wanted to find out what it was, so I was reading it, and I liked what I read, but for some reason I put it down, so I need to put it back, get back into reading it. This is about a girl who meets her brother on the battlefield, and he was supposed to be died. And she meets him on the battlefield, and it's good. Uh, then I picked up An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green um, at Target. This is about... What is, oh, so I still have my receipt in here. Um, these statues pop up, and uh, their names are Carl's, so these little things right here are Carl's and it's about social media this girl f sees them and she just thinks it does like a cool like you know art thing so she takes pictures so she does a video of them and at this time when all the Carl's showed up everybody's cameras cell phones everything went dead so nobody has any footage of these Carl's except for this one girl I forget her name um April May so overnight the video goes viral and she becomes like an overnight celebrity from YouTube and it sounds really really good. Um, but Poland's books is the reason why I got this because it sounded really good. I have yet to pick it up, but it does sound really good. Uh, let's get into Barnes and Noble because Barnes and Noble was really really a small haul. I picked up these bookmarks every time I go to Barnes and Noble. I like to grab a bookmark, um, and I picked up three of them. My hubby picked me up one, and I picked up two. And these are these Harry Potter bookmarks. I think they are so so freaking cute. Uh, they are three ninety five. This one has Luna, and it says, Things we lose have a way of coming back to us in the end, if not always, in the way we expect. Luna Lovegood. So cute. That one. And then my favorite quote from Harry Potter ever, from Albus Dumbledore. Happiness can be found in the darkest of times if one can only remember to turn on the light. Love that quote. And then Hermione said me books and cleverness there are more important things friendship and bravery and i got all these because these are the only three that were there i believe there might be more um but they are really good quality bookmarks and I've got three of them then i picked up this on clearance it's a workout log book it was 7.98 uh basically you just log your workouts that you do um i haven't done any workouts but you put like your cardio, your workouts, the machine you did, the class, the heart rate, pace, duration, calories used, I guess. Um, and then you put in the food that you ate. Like I said, I haven't used it yet, but I figured it'd be a good thing to have. So I picked up that. Um, and then I went there. Sorry, my stuff's falling over. I went there to get this book. And this was The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein. I wanted to read this on... Um, Halloween. I wanted to have a read on Halloween, but we ended up going to Foxwoods. Um, I'll post that video soon. Uh, so we ended up going. So oh, that's cool. I didn't know it was like that. Uh, so we didn't end up going. I didn't end up doing the readathon, but I wanted to get this. This is like a dark retelling of Frankenstein, and I have seen movies of Frankenstein. I haven't really 
watched the real Frankenstein or read the book about the Frankenstein, but I heard this is good. My scissors. Um, so I wanted to go there and pick this up. And I love the cover of it. It's really like creepy and flush colored and so I went there to get it and I've heard mixed things about this. So I might this be my might be my next book I pick up. And then both me and Hubby thought this book sounded really good. It says Strange and Grace by Tessa Grattan. Um <coughs> I'm gonna pick this one up. <coughs> I'm sorry guys. Because again, it sounded <coughs> so good. It said, long ago a village made a bargain with the devil to ensure their prosperity. When the, when the slaughter moon rises, the village must sacrifice a young man to the depths of the deep forest. Only this year the slaughter moon has risen early. Bound by the duty, secrets, and the love they share for one another, Merwin, a spirited witch, Runa, the expected saint, and Arthur, a relentless outcast, will each have a role to play as the devil demands a body to fill the bargain, but the de the devil these friends find is not the only one. It's not the one they expected, and they and the lies they uncover will t will turn their town and their hearts inside out. Something's gone wrong with the bargain. It sounded pretty good. It's like a fat, and that was Barnes Noble. Amazon uh, was Bird Box. We're reading this, and this is coming out on Netflix in uh, December with Sarah Paulson and. Tanya Bullock, I'm almost done with that. I'm literally 100 pages and it's almost done. So I need to read this because it's about this this thing that's going on that when people look outside their window or look outside, they go crazy and they're dying. And this woman uh, is pregnant with twins and she gives birth and she's living in this house. She goes out with her twins blindfolded on a rowboat across the river to try to get to safety. And it's really good. Uh, then I read, I did read this, uh, City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. I've never read a Victoria Schwab book. I read this and I loved it. It was very, very good. Uh, I read it in like three days. Uh, middle grade, it's about this girl. She can see the veil between the um, afterlife and ghosts and stuff. And her parents uh, researched the supernatural and it was really, really good. Just going fast because my time is there. Uh, Dry by Neil Schusterman and... Jared Schusterman, uh, this is about a world where water runs out. I think it's in California. And I'm buddy reading this with my friend, um, Lori, I think her name is. Uh, but we kind of had stopped reading this for right now. But yeah, really good so far. Uh, Sadie by Courtney Summers. This book I heard nothing but good things from, good things about. Um, they say it's good to read it with audiobooks. That's what I'm going to. It's probably the next book I pick up. It's about a girl who's trying to find the person that murdered her sister in a podcast, and it sounds really good. Again, I'm trying to go really fast because I have a huge stack of books from eBay, and I'm at eight minutes already. Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. I got this because I want to read The Cruel Prince, and I was told you should read this before you read The Cruel Prince, and The Wicked King is coming out, I believe, in February. So, this is about fairies. Divine is by Libra Bray. I've read this so, so many, so many times. Um, I wanted the new cover, but for some reason eBay sent me this cover. I've read this like three or four times. It's really, really good and scary. Um, definitely a book to read in October. Very, very creepy. Huge, but very, very good book. Um, it's about the 20s and this girl that can read people's minds and supernatural powers. And it's really good. Uh, Catwoman, I ended up getting the UK edition. I thought I was ordering the one with sprayed edges, but I didn't. I got the regular edition, which is fine. Um, I will reread re Catwoman again because I really did love this story. It's about Selena. Uh, Selena Kyle, who um, is working with this mob guy, just tried to save her sister, and it's really, really good. Uh, Vicious by uh, Victoria Schwab, by V.E. Schwab. I have not read this yet. Um, I started reading a little bit of it, and I wasn't in the mood for it. Um, but I did get this for a hell of a deal on eBay. Uh, it's originally 17 I think I got it for like 8 Um, and this is about, I think, good and evil, I think? Or both people are evil? I'm not really sure. Uh, Hearts We Sold. I got this, uh, because... Oh, I still have the two books. I got this because, uh, it was on an Owl Crate book. And this is actually technically an Owl Crate exclusive because I got the signature on eBay, which is awesome. 
And it's about a girl who sells her her body parts to the devil or something. See what I have done uh, by Sarah something. I can't know her name. Uh, this is a Lizzie Borden book. And I live in where Lizzie Borden did all the murders, Fall River. So I definitely wanted to do watch, read that book. And I got The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. You all know what The Cruel Prince is about. I got this again for a hell of a deal. And I wanted to read it since the new book was coming out. And then I got three books from subscription services. Owl Crate, I got Shadow of the Fox by Julia Kagawa. This is about a girl who has a scroll and some demons and stuff. I'm not exactly sure. Pride, a Pride and Prejudice retelling by Ibi Saboy. Um, so I know about that. Bone Mercies uh, is about four girls, I think it is. Uh, trained warriors kill loudly, we kill silently, and that is how you hunt a beast. Uh, basically, girl warriors. That's that. And then I will create because I got socks that had both nerd printed on them, because they're supposed to say book nerd. They were so sweet and so kind, and they sent me a package uh, that sent me the right sock. So I have books, now I have book nerd. And they sent me stickers, they sent me things saying sorry. And they sent me a cute little owl crate tote bag. So I thought that was so nice of them. I didn't have to send the extra goodies. But that's why I love Owl Crate. They're such an amazing company. Awesome service. And that was great that they sent me the right sock. So that is my October book haul. Whew, a lot of books. Sorry I flew through the rest of them. I just, I can only post 15 minutes and I'm already at 12 minutes right now. Um, if you have any questions about these books or want to do a read along with me, let me know. I might do an impromptu. 24 hour readathon maybe this week um i'll have to see what i have planned uh weight watchers i'm still doing that it's just i'm gonna do an update i'm i don't know what's going on with that i'm just i feel like i'm putting too much pressure on myself so we'll, we'll see how that goes um but yeah i am going so i'll be to be there next friday well this friday i wasn't there last friday because again it was downpouring and new england, new england for some reason wants to just rain in october I don't know why. Um, yeah, that's everything. Like I always say, keep calm, read on, shop on, and be kind, and speak to each other. Bye, guys.